Hey there guys, I'm going to be showing you the Final Fantasy IX series boss battle, which should be coming to global kind of soon. We already got the Zidane banner, so the series boss battle should be soonish, we'll see. It's going to be against Necron. Uh, this is a pretty easy one, just like all the series boss battles are easy these days. Um, one thing you're going to want is a pretty decent magical tank. Uh, we're using Cecil, you don't need someone as good as Cecil, but just for the sake of convenience, I'm going to be using him. Uh, you do want 100% Fire, Ice, and Lightning Resist and Holy Resist for your Magical Tank. We're going to use Blue Mage Fina. All she's really going to do is heal the party every single turn. Um, she's also got Status Immunity. The whole team is fully Status Immune. We're going to use Riku. All she's going to do is break the boss's attack and magic every turn, and nothing else really matters for her. Again, she's full Status Immunity. We're going to use Kenny Crow as our Evasion Provoker. You do want an Evasion Provoker if possible. Uh, Kenny Crow does it super easily. That's all he's going to be doing is provoking with Evasion uh, and Status Immunity. We're going to take Fenrir or Adele as our DPS. You can take any DPS you want. The boss is neutral to every element. Um, she's Status Immune, and we're going to be uh, chaining Earth with her gun. And we're taking a random Edward Elric. Uh, he's not status immune, but we'll just cure his debuffs if he gets them. Um, he is also uh, going to be chaining Earth. I'm sorry. He's going to be triple casting Stardust Ray with Fenrir Adele. He has no killers equipped, but, you know, whatever. Who cares? This is an easy, serious boss battle. So when we get in here, there's going to be an ambush where the boss hits your provoker three times with gravity. Uh, so it went ahead and killed him, but that's only for the ambush. We don't really care about that. So we're going to go ahead and use our healer to bring him back, and we're going to re-raise our magical tank, which we're almost certainly not going to need, but, you know, whatever. Cecil will just cover and swap stance. Fenrir Adele will start doing her chaining. Edward is going to unlock his triple cast, and he'll imbue himself with... Actually, we will imperil Earth for now. And Riku will just break the boss's attack and magic. That's all she's going to do every single turn. So here's some holy magic, magic fire, etc. Doesn't really matter. It can't hurt your tank with the, with resistances. All right, so Kenny can just guard every turn. Your healer can just cure you every turn. Riku will just break every turn. Cecil is going to just swap stance pretty much every turn. Adele is just going to triple cast every single turn. And Edward will imbue himself and start chaining. And this is pretty much uh, how the fight is going to go for the remainder of it. Um, around turn 8, the boss is going to do a special attack, and we'll explain when we get there. There's the gravity attack that hits your provoker, but... After the ambush, it should never again kill your provoker. So we can just reload again. Cecil will just keep changing stance. We'll triple chain with our Edward. And everyone else can just repeat. And that's basically it. The boss will do a meteor every now and then, which is non-elemental, and this should happen right now. Now it'll do a little bit of damage to your tank, but um, you know, we're using Cecil, so it's gonna do almost nothing. If your tank's not, not quite as powerful, you know, keep re-raising your tank, but it should be totally fine. Uh, how's our Imperil looking? Two turns? Okay, so we'll just keep dealing damage. Cecil will swap stance. Uh, we actually need mana, so we will double mana, we'll triple mana regen. Give some mana to our Edward Elric. some attacks. Uh, the boss has another turn of... Let's re-imbue, re-imperil, and do our chain. Fenrir. Fenrir Adele is really easy to use. She just, uh... She just chains triple every single turn forever. Super easy. Alright, Cecil will double cast, and let's go ahead and swap stance. And everyone can repeat. I mean, this is the fight. This this is just stupidly easy. 
Serious boss battles have become a real disappointment these days. They really, they really are. Like, really. <laughs> this is this is the whole fight. All right. Uh, unfortunately, Edward Elric loses two turns of his cast, so we'll just double cast for two turns. All right, here's a meteor. <laughs> no, whatever. So on turn nine, the boss is going to do his special attack, but <laughs> it's possible we even kill him before that happens. All right, Cecil will swap and just double mana regen. Um, I think Edward, yeah, his quad cast is ready again, so we'll do that. Uh, Fenrir can just do that. Very exciting fight. Very exciting. Super challenging. Alright, Edward, let's go ahead and re imperil chain and chain. Cecil can just keep swapping stance because he's like the most broken magic tank ever. And this is with a friend with no killers and Fenrir Adele using um, a free unit, Fenrir Adele. Like, you know. I always kind of hope that Global is going to buff these series boss battles when they come to Global, but they never do, and they're just stupidly easy, so... Oops, wrong one. One, two, and swap stance. Alright, so it's turn nine. Now the boss is going to finally do something which is slightly, almost a little bit interesting, but not really. So he's got mitigation for a turn, so we're not going to really hurt him here. Uh, Cecil will go ahead. This is going to be a decently hard-hitting attack, so we're going to go ahead and use some mitigation and swap stance. Okay, so you can't hurt the boss for two turns. Now he's going to do a uh, neutron ring, which does like a little bit of damage to your magic tank. And again, if your magic tank is not strong, we race him. We're using Cecil, so he is really powerful. Next turn, he's going to Grand Cross, which is going to be, again, pretty powerful. Let's go ahead and do that that and cover. Um, it's also going to berserk your provoker. We'll take this time to refresh the imbue and imperil. Alright, so this is going to be Grand Cross. This is where the boss is going to do another powerful attack, which again, it shouldn't bother Cecil. He's fine. And he heals himself. And your provoker is now berserk, but Candy Crow is not doing anything anyway, so we don't care about berserk. And that's it. That's it. You've now got nine more turns until Toy does that again. And we can just go ahead and casually finish out the fight, except our triple cast has worn off because Edward Elric has a little bit of a wonky rotation that's kind of annoying. His triple cast doesn't have full up time. I don't like that. And some meteors, you know. Who cares? Uh, Edwards, go ahead and get your big chain back. Cecil will cover. And now again, if you're not using Cecil, it does deal a little bit of damage to your your tank. Just keep just keep re-raising your tank if that's the problem. My Cecil is using only free or only cheap gear, so he's not using any STMRs, and he's tanking this all the time. Uh, let's see, cover. All right, and I think the boss is probably dead here. Maybe one more turn. Ah, one more turn. But whatever, he's not, he's not going to do anything. Oh, is he doing the... He is doing the the gravity ring again. Alright, he does it more often when he gets lower in health. Alright, uh, so this is going to actually deal a tiny amount of damage. Just 
discard you. Break you again. Okay, so we hit our tank. Next turn is going to be Neutron Ring, which is going to deal a little bit of damage again. Uh, let's go ahead and just refresh the Imbue and Imperil for now. We'll have Riku uh, do a Mana Regen. Cecil can just cover and swap stance. Heal. Yeah, you can't hurt him during this. Well, I mean, you can, but he's got, like, massive, massive mitigation. Alright, there's Neutron Ring. Alright, now we can win. The boss's mitigation has worn off. Oh, our, uh, <laughs> our, Edward, our Edward Elric got uh, petrified. Let's go ahead and gold needle him. Alright, let's finish off this fight. Yeah, the friend's not wearing status immunity. Okay, there we go. 17 turns. The mission is 25 turns. Um, he's pretty tanky. We use we use really bad. Well, we use a Fenrir Adele who is not great DPS, and we used um, a zero killer Edward Elric. So it was fine. These units are all available on global, except for Fenrir Adele, who is just a triple cast Stardust Ray Trainer. She did minimal damage. Okay, so there is a preview for Necron, who is just brain-dead easy. Alright, we will see you guys later.